more than I anticipated. We are extremely behind. Lock the keys in the car. Six twenty-four a.m. and we are heading to the airport for the first time in like actually a year. One year. In one year, I feel very out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know if I can say this is my job anymore. It's a sham. Okay. Hold on. That's what Chris forgot to do. Yeah. Take his laptop out of his bag. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what happens when I travel with these buffoons. Is that cinematic enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Can you see me? We're going to Vancouver because I'm shooting a project with Ford. Charging station? This looks like the dash of a car. Oh my god. Tap anywhere to start. <laughs> I am the one person. Hi. God, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> it's still going. Oh my god. Oh, this hurts. Okay, I'll come back up now. Here I come. I definitely seem like I'm a 14 year old and my rich parents paid for the seat. Let's do an, a plain unboxing. A mask, a water bottle. Oh, I have a letter from the chief medical officer. Oh, more snacks, pretzels, serviette. <laughs> this one, Josh goes, what's serviette in French? <laughs> A few moments later. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Um, so I'll get just a small, like, regular coffee. Do you have oat milk, though? Thank you so Thank much. You. Go see those guys over there. Okay. Everyone, uh, everyone you need to see is over there. Okay. Right on. This is bumpy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this might be more than I anticipated. Can I roll my pants up more? Today we're shooting a Ford ad campaign and it's with the Ford F-150. That's a truck, yep. Okay. Well, we'll see what I have time for. Yeah, so basically the scene is you and uh, Paul meeting for the first time. Lizzie Fairs! Hello, Paul. How are you? So let's just take a look. Maybe you be. Cool. Cool. Ready. So basically I'm trying to get some compression. Because if I went, I, I'm trying to get how do I, words. A really symmetrical shot of the car from the side, mountain in the background, these trees, and to just really bring that mountain make it feel like it's really up close to the car. If you shoot it with a longer lens, it'll give you that effect. Slightly frowned upon, but I'm taking the photos fairly quickly. So I'm bracket exposuring, which means I am taking three photos and I'll stitch them together later to get multiple exposures because it's very, very bright at the top of this mountain. The sun's coming this way. I may actually try, I'm gonna step back, go 70, and then I might try not bracketing 
Maybe I will still bracket. But I'm gonna change my aperture if I have time to sunny 16 and see if I can get like a flare. That's depending on how much time I have and it looks like everybody's coming over here. <laughs> Maybe I have time. I have. I know it sounds kind of overwhelming. Basically what we'll do is like set it up and just pause the pro and like you guys can just play off each other and so our company's a Taylor Reed Creative Agency. And we kind of we call ourselves like an integrated production company because we do a lot of work directly with clients and then we also work in kind of you know more the production company role. And action! Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing great, beautiful day. Okay, let's roll. And can we maybe, yeah, like a, on a sandbag or just on the handles or something? How's it going so far? It's going well. We're just doing uh, the same scene where I meet Paul over and over in a lot of different angles. But I know how it is. It needs to be done. And I'm taking a lot of fake photos, so that's going to be really awful for me to go through later because this is the A7 R4 and I'm shooting raw. At least it's compressed. It's actually getting warmer out, which I did not anticipate. The sun, I'm very squinty and there isn't much I can do about that, so. Paul is today's DOP, which if you guys don't know, for whatever reason, that means director of photography. So he's running the show in terms of the camera today. Can you walk everybody through what your setup is, what the next shot's gonna be? Yeah, so we're shooting on the Red Ranger. We got the first one in Canada, so we've had it for about a year now. It shoots raw, which is pretty cool, so you can go in and adjust like the white balance, the ISO, all those things in post. Mm -hmm. So it gives our editors and color correctors a lot of dynamic range and flexibility yeah. to bring down the, the levels in the sky, but bring up the levels in the shadows. <laughs> as long as it's in focus, the shot's safe. Yeah. <laughs> then we're shooting on the Atlas anamorphic lenses. They look amazing. They give off like a really nice lens flare. We've shot on the Cook anamorphics, which are also unbelievable lenses. These are a fraction of the price and we find just the lens flares come out a lot more with these, especially like the headlights on the car. You'll notice for the driving shots, like there's just a nice lens flare. Yeah, so this camera is the A camera and it's mostly like handheld sticks and uh, we use an easy rig just to take mm -hmm. the tension off because it's obviously a pretty heavy setup. And then we have Taylor over there on the gimbal. Well, we can wait till this. We are extremely behind, so we're breaking for lunch now because of the helicopters. There's two of them, and it's been like this for, I don't know, two hours? Yeah, so we're really behind. You know, operating a red camera, there's a ton of media being shot and it's one of the higher end cinema cameras out there. Today we shot about 1.5 terabytes of footage. So you need a team of people there. You need like a camera assist who's, you know, changing the lenses. And then you need a DIT who's dumping the footage and organizing it. That's great. Let's cut there and reset. Nick was like, oh, take the key out and lock the car so we'll turn the lights off so we can reset the scene because I messed up. And then Paul went over and I was like, oh, Paul's got it. But Paul just locked it. So now the keys are locked locked in the car. <laughs> so you can't get in the car to finish the scene. I was gonna grab them, like we were this close from there being no problem. But I was like, oh, Paul's got it. And he just went, oh no. I was like, oh no. Lock the keys in the car. <laughs> it's fine, better you than me. He's too nice, no one can be mad at him. No. Everyone could be pissed at me because I just messed up the last three takes. So this is Peter. He's doing data management in this van. Paul, back on set, was telling us a little bit about what he has going on here. The client can actually preview some of the footage. So I'm just gonna let you explain, like, what what is this? What is your job? I'm the digital image technician and the onset colorist. Okay. And we're also doubling as VTR today because it's a small crew. So we use one computer over here for downloading the footage to three separate drives. And we use a little program called Silverstack for that. And then over here, we are coloring the footage and and pulling some stills. I just got this new little uh, speed editor from DaVinci Resolve, so that's kind of fun wow. there. This is so that we can have a Zoom call to the client. This is just for the client? Yeah. Okay, so they're viewing whatever you're viewing on this screen when you have a feed? Yeah. Live with audio? With live with audio or without if we feel like we don't want audio. <laughs> well, I'm glad I know that now. 
I've been swearing today. <laughs> Where are you doing data then at the same time? Is that on this computer? That, that's on this computer that's over this here. Computer. There's another computer down below there. Okay. So just running two different screens for two different computers. But Sounds we can fair. show you the back part here. Yeah, sure. So these yeah, are these two little thing. devices. This is signal from the camera. That way I get to see it on the monitor, but it also patches through to this guy, which then comes back into here and here for the Zoom call. And then whatever I'm coloring goes out into the mini monitor and back into the into the monitor that is unreal these are our drives and we always run with a ups so that if i lose power briefly the whole thing doesn't go down and lose my download etc how many backups do you have three at the moment so cool. pretty normal these are the two client drives and this is a third copy we keep for ourselves extra laptops just in case we need them whatever kind of cables we'll think we'll need on this job and then we're also running this eGPU today so this is hooked up to the laptop and it's a big graphics card to help us uh, run through the job and that just helps play back a little bit more smoothly and anybody who's running a laptop for editing this is a this is a really great thing and they're not that expensive right now this is just a regular kind of standard receiver on the back in here and instead of just these normal little antennas oh, I knew that would happen we just hook them up into a larger panel so we have more range and then wherever I point the antenna because they're filming down there is usually get pictures that was cool that was awesome that was so cool thank you Peter appreciate it well that was short-lived <laughs> now we're back I took away Peter's only break <laughs> We were just figuring out how all the features work. Mm. And it's actually pretty sick. It literally has a camera to show you, you lining up with the hitch itself. When you have the trailer on, they have this view. So you can see the sides of the trailer behind you, which is very, it's pretty neato. Do you see this? Oh. Chris would be so proud of me. But now I have to hook it up. Never done this part. I always make Chris do this part, not gonna lie. Let's go. What was your thought process in deciding to shoot with anamorphic lenses? There's a hundred factors that cause it, but at the end of the day, you point it somewhere and it looks amazing. So, and especially with the car stuff, just seeing the features, the lights, you know, having those kind of blue bands. For this, it was more dock style, more like up close, especially having a wide lens. I could jump in the car with you and get those shots of like you behind the wheel and sit beside you. A lot of the times, long lenses can work to your advantage, especially to get those shots to make that road look steeper or sharper of a turn from a distance. We are now at location number two. We're supposed to be kicking it into hyperspeed. I haven't moved in 10 minutes. On another note, <clears throat> this is where the film, the interview was filmed. Right down there, I believe. Yes, that's where the getaway boat was. And I drove away at the end with that adorable puppy. Now I know that Seth Rogen and James Franco have been here, and that's pretty cool. We're building a grill. I just caught Paul Brandt in the middle of a nap. So that's something I can say I did now. And when we're playing a game of two truths and a lie, I can say, caught Paul Brandt in a nap. <laughs> this is Paul Brandt. I'm supposed to cook, apparently. I'll tell you one thing, that's all I know. This dog will hunt. We're gonna get down on in here. We're gonna cook us up some grub. You know what I'm talking about? Come on now. It's gonna be the best food you ever eat. Let's go right now. What you just standing there for? Have some biscuits. <laughs> if you were here, I wouldn't be nearly as entertaining. <laughs> In our long distance travels across the uh, country, we invented hey, a new character. His name is Steve Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> and he does advertisements for Gold Bond medicated powder. <laughs> Hey everybody, Steve Alberta here for Gold Bond Medicated Powder. You know those times you've been on the road for about 15 days straight and you get a little galded in the nether region? Gold Bond Medicated Powder, it's like a Chinook in your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and action! Great, and then give us a little uh, tune or if you get the focus play. Uh, yeah, please, that'd be great. She can roll down her window so yeah, I don't yeah, feel it. Beautiful, that's it.
Let's go. Yeah, right. That's a wrap on Lizzie. That's it. BC. You got it? You wanna hook it? That's a wrap. But rest assured, cause you were safe at home at last. And then, I guess... I rescued you, you rescued me. And we're right where we should be. When we're together, 